for District 9 Central Harlem. It is great to be here. I know we are holding space today for Miguel Richards. And um, because five years ago during a wellness check, uh, something that should have been handled medically, that should have been handled with a peer, that should have been handled with care, uh, was handled with cops and had horrible, horrific results. I also want to highlight today a case in my district that happened about 11 years ago, um, the case of Mohammed Ba. Uh, his uh, mother, Hawa Ba, um, had called for help for an ambulance uh, for her son who was having a psychotic break, and instead they sent police and he was shot and killed. And, um, and, so, and this is the, the pain uh, that we're inflicting on our communities. We're taking those who are already struggling, already in need of support and services and care and peers and love, and instead of giving that support, we're inflicting more pain. And I, and I can say this as an abolitionist, that I fully believe that an alternative, uh, an alternative is possible, it's obtainable, it's doable, we can get to a place where instead of having a violent response to those who are in need, we have a care community response. Yes. So I want to shout out all of you here today because, you know, sometimes the focus is on us, it's on me and other electeds, but I always say people power, okay? So when, when I say people, you say power, people. Power! The voice from the ground is activity on the streets. It's, act it's actions like this. It's sharing it on social media. It's getting press. It's bringing up the issue over and over and over again and badgering your elected officials. Like, don't be afraid. Badger us, okay? Because some of it needs to, some of some action really needs to happen, and it is the groundswell that's going to make it happen. Especially when we think about politically some of the power of the police unions and stuff like that, right? So um, thank you for all of you being out here today. Oh, I, I did want to say just a word on the Be Heard um, program. Be Heard is in our district. Uh, so it's operating in District 9. And listen, I fully believe in having an alternative to police. However, Be Heard as it is currently structured is not, not actually it. that alternative. It's not it. That's right. And I'm not saying it's impossible for it to get there but I'm saying that it's not right now. That what we're seeing is that in over 80% of the cases where it should be that alternative being provided, that we're actually seeing police response. Shame, 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 shame. 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 And, and so what we need to do is look at how do we either improve that program or come up with something new. I am open to either. I think there's real possibilities to make Be Heard actually a program where the community is actually heard and something that is actually an alternative uh, to the police and incarceration. But I do, I do just want to highlight that. It also needs to have way more hours. It needs to have way more coverage. It needs to have way more funding. Um, and we need to make sure we have the peer advocates, the peer specialists, those with lived experience, those who are impacted and credible messengers involved in the program. Woo! Thank you again.